Hi, everybody. This is Rich in Aguila, and I'm going to interview this psychic little girl here. And uh, we're going to find out what goes on in her universe, okay? Um, she had another bad experience the other night. It was something about Hillary Clinton. And uh, the more I asked her about it, I mean, she just had it. And, I, and the more she talked about it, I go, what the hell? This is like deep shit, man. Off planet, other the big giant planets that are spacecraft and ETs doing weird shit. And uh, so anyway, I'm, we're going to, I'm going to ask Agvila. I hope she's on this side of the camera in your video. <laughs> yeah, wherever I am in your place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's usually the other side, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Somehow. All right. So anyway, uh, Agvila, uh, you would you like to tell just a little bit about yourself before we get started into your... No, no, <laughs> no. let's just go jump right into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So where would you like to start? You start with the Hillary thing or the Ubi? Did it start earlier? Uh, I will go a bit earlier and a bit earlier goes in two ways. One is that a lot of times, like when I'm out there and I'm exploring, I will receive information the way I can understand it. So I think it goes for a lot of beings like that. But let's say if I'm better at visuals, some beings would rather show me something in visuals and I will see like a movie or I'm going to be there and I'm going to live it rather than hear a story or read about it or you know like just get knowingness on the stuff so for me like it's, it's always the visuals for most of the time I, I would say so that's how I get my information and I'm really glad I have you here because what I see I understand but it's really hard to put it in words and using English language or you know even Lithuania it's like I could not do the good work here <laughs> so it's going to be messy on my end but I'm, ha I'm glad I have you as my translator that being said there were a lot of people on my YouTube channel who know that I get out of body and they're always like saying, or a lot of times saying, you know, like, Hey, Aquila, if you can get out of body, why don't you go deal with the people from the elite? Why don't you deal with like, let's say Soros or something, some like, uh, I don't know, Bill Gates or whatever. Why don't you just kill them? Well, it's not that simple. And that's what the whole Ubi was about. The funny thing with me is I don't try to get out of body anymore, but I'm just out there anyway, <laughs> which is cool. I appreciate it. And when I'm out there, a lot of times, I don't really care where I'm going to end up. So where I wake up and which body I have over there, like it's just shifting consciousness from here to any of my bodies out there, or just a whole new experience, or just being quite a few, doesn't matter. I'm all over the place. But recently, this past week, the experiences one after another somehow followed up. Like every day, they would connect in a way where I'm like, hey, this is, this is going somewhere. So I finally started paying attention because like other times, like I didn't really care. And finally, starting to the story I was telling you about the other day, I was in this like planet and it's like very darkish, densish, you know, like you remember we were playing Mass Effect and in the first game, one of the planets, there are people who are turned into uh, bluish, blackish people with lines, right? Like husks. So they were people once, but then the like, I don't know, like the technologies got into them and all of a sudden they became a bit more sour and controlled, so to speak, right? So mm -hmm. normal people like us, human bodies turn all darkish. So the reality was very similar, but the point is there were a lot of beings out there, a lot of races I have never seen before. And they're like looking, like let's say humanoid mutants, there were some reptilians, a lot of grace and different kinds of beings. And, you know, it's just like a lot of nasty looking beings. It's like creepy, like mutations and with like, let's say you see a human uh, humanoid being with a spire looking face and the saliva is dripping all over the place and they're all fluffy, you know, like with eight eyes, like, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. But there's like a lot of very, various weird beings out there. And those beings who were alien-like, um, they wanted to get a, an experience in a human body. So what would happen? They have an alien body, it's the original self, and they would find a body that would mimic or like put their consciousness in the physical body and they would go on earths. I'm saying earths because there are a lot of different realities. So we might experience some aliens using a human experience body, but here and also in other like parallel worlds. 
And okay, I'm gonna stop here if you wanna comment yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> we're on the same page. Okay, so you're having an out-of-body experience, but you're having one after another after another. Yep. And one night to the next, they kind of, they continuity there. Yes. Okay. And you're not just going to like Earth or an, another Earth. There's these other planets and they're alternate versions of Earth or there's many different Earths in various time streams or all parallel universes or something like that. All right. So I'm going on this specific planet and I, I wasn't, I don't care the name, the coordinations anywhere. Like I mean, I'm just there. Right. So yeah. I'm interested in the story, not the title of the book. Right, okay. uh, right. <laughs> right. So th there's a story. There's this planet. It is not Earth. It is not uh, Milky Way. Andromeda is nowhere here. But okay. it is a planet, and it's uh, fucked up. <laughs> but beings from that place, all the or most of the alien life over there, all the creepy ones are trying to get a human experience. So aliens will tune into this Earth and the parallel ones, or like different reality Earths. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I've heard about this, where uh, there are human bodies here that are designed to accept human beings, the consciousness that is generally, you know, that's these beings are human and their human entities are beings. Before they got here, they had human body. Before that, they had a human body. Human body, that's, that's what they are. They, the consciousness has uh, connected with and considers itself human so we we populate the multiverse biologically on body uh on planets with human life forms okay so that's human so the humans get human bodies okay same with reptilians and same with uh, insectoids and giant spiders and giant fucking insects and mantis and all that shit genetically they populate their planets with the genetic material, blah, blah, blah. So you got a lot of life forms there. But on this planet Earth, I don't know about these other planet Earths you're about to talk about, but this planet Earth, <coughs> some of these human bodies have been redesigned or uh, tweaked, or modified to accept the consciousness of a non-human being. And there has to be a vibrational match or a frequency match between the consciousness and the brain and the neuron, blah, blah, blah. So I knew about that. And so I started speculating that, well, you know, a lot of the beings that incarnate here in human bodies, they're not human beings. They're like, what, you know, what kind of person are, what kind of being are you that would be do all that creepy evil shit, you know? from a human being's perspective, you know, being cruel and, and all this creepy shit. So you're on a planet where these regressive beings are, and they're in their, their physical bodies, but they're not, they don't look like these human bodies. Partly, no, but they don't. Okay. And they have advanced technology and they want to incarnate into human bodies and experience the experience just for yeah. play or the game of it or day hey, look, look you know, how fun kind of like that so yeah far? okay go ahead so there's a few ways where we can go with the story uh we've heard going one way we heard stories about if aliens are getting into human bodies a lot of times because there is no vibrational match they get messed up bodies, which means people with disabilities, people with autism, and people who are all kinds of sickies. The plot twist is on that planet, they're developing technology where you can get the best body possible. And you're going to be having an organic body. It's all perfect. You're looking normal. You're all perfect. But you are reptilian within a human experience, so to speak. And that's these... the thing. Like, Okay. I have like we have clients where we talk to them and some client like some clients say it's like uh that person my girlfriend is a fucking reptilian and they're not just saying that you know they lived it and of course this is a sign of like the experience of whatever they define reptilian with 
But if you look deeper, a lot of times you can see like that person's reptilian because you see an overlay, like you see a human body, but if you go deeper, there's an overlay of reptilian or some other being. And we've, I've seen plenty of those. And the thing is, it's those beings developing a really good technology where it doesn't matter. You don't have to have autism or other bodies that are going to be fucked up or rejecting you. They're going to have a perfect body and they can play the game and it's for, fun for them. Wow. Yeah, I've heard about the, there's two ways that I know about it. It's, uh, well, it's consciousness transference is one. Uh, and uh, some beings can do it uh, without technology, but most of the regressive types, I believe, uh, they need technology to do consciousness transference. Some of them can use an immersion pod where they get into the pod and they put their body sort of in a trance state. And then the technology helps them transfer their consciousness into a human body. Another way it works is uh, beings can have split their consciousness and like bilocate and they can be in two places operating fully consciously in two bodies simultaneously. Now that, you know, so that's a thing. So they're living on one planet doing something with an agenda and they, they're living on another planet in this other body doing something. And this, from this body, they might know they have that body. From this body, they might not know that they got that body. Yeah. Kind of sh shit like that. So, okay, yeah. so more about what you were seeing specifically? So, yeah, that planet is weird. Like, you're not going to see a human walking freely, which is, for me, when I'm, like, understood, I'm like, fuck, I have to go in disguise and sneak around, because what I'm seeing is there are secret space program people, 20 and back people, whatever, like, involved in that kind of thing humans specifically whether it is from this earth and this reality or every other possible reality and every other earth what they do is they pick a body doesn't matter if it's a baby they get the dna they know how they're going to look like they sell you off you're a product let's say with all the thing where people get the passport or that birth certificate and all of a sudden they're the property of the government and being sold off so like with all those agreements you know, that party can basically, the secret space program party can basically take you as a, an abduction, sell you off, and let's say either you come back as a clone or you come back, but they sell off a body and they bring it to that planet. Now that planet, with, with all the sneaking around, there's marketplaces, there's everything. It's, oh. just, just, it's just like, I don't know, like, I haven't seen too many movies, but with the Marvel movies we've seen, when they go to some Asian place where there's skyscrapers, lights everywhere, but there's shops around, there's like street markets and everything, kind of that kind of thing. And it's, uh, you know, dirty, like missing and everything else, but people were not nice. <laughs> you know, they're all like really going, doing their business, paying their, their attention and all the stuff. And I'm sneaking around and I managed to get underground and in the underground base, there's a plantation like level after level after level on a never ending room you will see like pods and it's pretty much like matrix movie where the you know body sitting there and that's the physical human body that was sold off so now they have let's say a vessel available so the real physical body uh how should you say it? it's kind of like it's here on earth is the real deal but the vessel they're going to connect to, like they get an example, you're like you're buying and you get like a credit card or something. So that's your property. No one else will, will get the same thing, but only you can access and say, I, I don't know how to explain it. That's where like you come in handy. Yeah. Okay. So let me see if I got it right so far. Yeah. There's this icky fucking planet out there. Yeah. Full of regressive, non-human looking creatures, highly yeah. intelligent, advanced and, technology. Uh, just for clearance, regressive, could you define the word for me? Oh, yeah, there's progressive, like you progress, progress, yeah. uh, beings that are into progress for the civilization and all of consciousness and humanity. That's progressive. Regressive is like, no, they themselves might want to be on top, but they mm -hmm. would like everything else to be dumbed down and stupid and ignorant or enslaved, unconscious, and like that so it's okay. general categories of regressive beings are the reptilians and then yeah. there's the progressive beings which are those that want to help others it's really weird to say but i'm gonna say it in some of their defense not all of them are regressives <laughs> oh, okay yeah yeah but yeah some. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, yeah I'm, okay 
uh, yeah, the story, the plot thickens here because uh, this is going uh, so deep that you we're going to see how this is a game. It's not really as icky as it is biologically and the torture and stuff. There, there's something else deeper going on. Am I? Am I? Yeah, and you see, like with me, you know how my abilities go over the top sometimes, and I'm not in control. Yeah. So, okay, I've experienced that, and I was focused on the story. But now, as we're talking, I'm re-experiencing re it. I'm back on it, sort of replaying it. But I can walk on the street or be as a point of view and just travel. And whenever I look at the being and the same programming I have, if I touch someone with my left hand, I will see their backstory and or like history, and I'll know stuff about them. Mm -hmm. So let's say even that icky spire looking being that I didn't like from the looks uh, that seemed like regressive. If I look at it, uh, someone's trying to find out technology and what people think to save their planet. You know, it's uh, right. different ways to put it. But, you know, like I I'm a weirdo like that where I like understanding different sides. And yeah, just saying. Okay. So, yeah, the good and the bad and the right and wrong is all a matter of perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there's this planet. To some, it may look very icky. <laughs> and others, home sweet home, man. Okay, but there's all kinds of beings on there. Spider looking fucking face being. <laughs> 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 and uh, rep, uh, reptilians, they got some reptilians there? Yeah. The big 12 foot tall ones and bigger? Yeah. Big choppers and stuff? Uh, more like with uh, Face like no choppers. Face. Oh, just like, smash. They're kind of like the small, the kind of humanized looking. Yeah. More of those. Okay. Kind. All right. So there's those kind, but there's all kinds of these beings there. It's it's, it's like going like, into a supermarket and seeing tons of different people. You know. Okay. Uh, is it going like like supermarket the bazaar? You know. Oh look, and everybody's got a little shop here, and you can buy shit, and there's tables with hearts on it and human eyeballs and shit, or is it um, more like black market stuff? It's kind of sleazy and dark and kind of, but the whole planet's like that. It's like, you know, pirates and, and scavengers and, and uh, bandits and criminals. Is it that kind of planet or is it just a, uh, no, nah, it's like, you know, it's a big shopping mall for body parts and body It's and normal body. for them. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty much normal <laughs> oh, no. everyday in life. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so is it more like this? Is it more like this? Uh, there's a lot of fishermen. They like to go fish. And uh, somebody's got to raise the worms for bait. So you go into the bait shop and uh, you don't see one or two or three worms wiggling around in some dirt. You see thousands and thousands of these fucking worms. And somebody's harvesting these worms for somebody else can come in and buy but we're not talking worms here we're talking human bodies is kind of like that uh yeah and i would even call it more like going into a computer store <laughs> you know it's not necessarily <laughs> fishermen <laughs> it's just like you're buying something fancy you like it you want it and all this yeah you know? okay <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so there's the point being that uh whatever else is going on in this planet it uh it's harvesting human bodies. Some, yes. Because it's harvest, it's doing a lot of other things and harvesting a few human bodies, or some of the things it's doing is harvesting gazillions of human bodies. Yeah. So some of the things it's doing, like let's say the district that I walked in, the little little place in that massive planet had to do with human bodies. I have no idea what else they're doing. I haven't explored yet. <laughs> okay. So it's like, you know, hard to say, like they might be doing more stuff. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But lots of human bodies, like thousands, tens of thousands? Uh, billions. Fuck. That's a lot. But, okay, my, before, I know we're going to get into yeah. some details. I want you to be able to talk, but I want to be able to wrap my head around this so people who are listening is like, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, we got a planet here. And uh, the point, I think, is that there's way more going on in the universe or the multiverse than humans against all the terrible evil bad things and not only that but depending on how intelligent the species might be or how evolved or how advanced technologically or a military perspective or cultural different humans could be 
They can be food, they can be bar barter, they can be like credits. Uh, buying and selling in human bodies as a commodity or even as a currency, kind of weird shit like that, or what? Uh, over there, it's not like selling human parts or anything like that. So it's not like black market nasty stuff. It's literally, let's say, secret space program people will take, let's say they're going to come to a physical body. For example, they come to me, right? And they're going to, for example, say, scan me. So now they have a perfect 3D model of me. They're going to take the 3D model of me, bring it to that planet. And now that 3D model of me, but it gets an organic body, it's in there. Now that yeah. vessel is in that pod. And any right. being can come and buy the vessel and get it and right. live it. And, and when they get the vessel, they connect to here on Earth. Okay. So let's say somebody in the secret space program, uh, they get into this pro they can get into this program called the 20 year recruitment. 20 and back means 20 years in the service. And then they're sent back in time and then they're reborn or they're, they get re put back into uh, a body that looks like the body, uh, clone of their body or a copy of their body of the one. So, but anyway, whatever else, complicated bullshit, but they end up living uh, a new life as if this 20, 20 years never even fucking happened. So there's a lot of that 20 and back stuff going on. But you're saying that on this planet, some of those guys that got recruited, kidnapped by the shadow governments and indoctrinated into the secret space military program, some of those guys and gals got their bodies copied or cloned some way or other the blueprint for those bodies down to a DNA level was copied. And then that was used to create new copies of those uh, super soldier bodies on this planet like that. All right. I'll, I'll say differently. Uh, anyone who experienced anything like 20 and back yeah. were likely working to get people scanned and sent off there. Oh, okay. They so were part of the selling out. So, okay. So the 20 and back, uh, recruits were involved in the gathering of they kidnap other human beings or just steal their DNA. <laughs> it's, more like, it's, it's more like stealing DNA because, like, from my perspective, the physical body from Earth doesn't go anywhere. Like, it's not like let's say you have one body yeah. in two places, but yeah. the the second body where they will not appear unless they have the first one. So it's more like they take the first one and kind of like either make a clone or a copy, but they have the organic vessel 100% uh, fitting everything. Right, okay. So however else they do it, uh, somebody, secret space program guys, probably the gray, the grays too, grays are doing sh similar shit, but what you're experiencing is they're getting the DNA from people like you and me and are just people that want run around the world. Uh, we get these clients that come to us and they have clones. They have another, their own copy of their own bodies on some other planet being poked at and fucked with. And because there's that, you can call it the, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, string theory. Oh, okay. String theory or entanglement theory or some shit like that. What happens to that body over there and wherever you can feel it in this body? Is it yeah. sort of thing? So a lot of people that have bodies here on earth could have uh, a body here on earth. They could have a copy of their body and maybe even more than one copy of their body on this particular planet that you're, you've been visiting in your out of body experiences. Something yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. So in that regard, basically the secret space program and people in 20 and back specific groups who are involved in selling off humans to that planet and basically recreating vessels for those, anyone in that planet who has enough currency or whatever they're going to offer, how are they going to trade, they're going to get the body. 
But what happens is in all my travels over there, sneaking around and just looking and sort of gaining understanding, I met Hillary Clinton. Wow. The real, the real vessel on earth, exactly the same way she looks here on earth, I met her there. And then comes this freaking alien who is the original Hillary, Hillary Clinton. And I'm seeing the vessel she's using here on earth and the real her. Wow. And before I go longer into the looks, the details about her and the conversations and everything, I'm going back into these bodies that they turn into what we call NPCs, aliens. A lot of them are actually aliens. Mm -hmm. Mundane behaviors, some of them might be, you know, farmers, some of them might be working in the office, but we, we feel like, you know, like, oh, they're nice narcissists, psychopaths, they, do, they just don't have emotions and all this stuff. No, they're aliens experiencing a human life, a lot of them. And because of the great technologies, because of what I've seen, you know, like, hey, a lot of people who are the elite, for example, aliens just playing around so they can experience whatever physical human life they want because they get the access they might make deals with secret space room and all the stuff you know they might get rich and all the stuff or some might even like hey i don't want a mundane human life i want to go into secret space program and become a superhuman warrior make me that they get a baby body okay take a baby body when you connect we're gonna you're gonna tune into that experience when we take you and we're gonna train you and we're gonna have a lot of that stuff so to speak Wow. Hmm. Okay. It's pretty interesting for me, at least, you know, like to mm -hmm. see how it all works. And it's not just uh, NPCs everywhere. Like, no, a lot of aliens here, too. So, so yeah. no wonder, like, people are seeing aliens pop up because those with uh, more psychic, like, sight and all the stuff, they know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> you go over there and you have this, you have this out of body experience, as real as can be, right? You can touch and feel everything. You're wide awake, and you know you have a body here on Earth. Yeah, yeah. It's going over night after night, and you're going back there, and you meet up with, hey, I know you, Hillary yeah. fucking Clinton, and uh, that body is like a, a clone or a copy of the one that's here. And what you're able to look deeper into the soul or the, the behind this, you can just tap into the entity, the being that is operating the body. And you can see it's got another persona and another mock-up. And it's like, oh, like it's astral body is fucking, what? You so know? it's a bit different. Yeah. Uh, it's like, let's say if you were another me and we were both uh, same being let's say you're the original and i'm the copy what, what happens is like with me sneaking around between all those pods and just looking into humans and seeing if i recognize anyone and all the stuff and you know just like looking at the de details it's like between all the sneaking i like glimpse and like wait like i see hillary clinton right so when mm -hmm. she comes out i know her and i'm like sort of like just trying to sneak in and like get closer and like well if that's her, might as well try to kill her because a lot of my viewers like, why don't you kill them? You know, like, uh, see if that's going to work. But, you know, before I even come close to her, another alien comes out. It comes out of where? Out of her body or out of no, 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 no. Phys physical bodies, two physical bodies, one physical, yeah. the Hillary Clinton I meet, yeah. and the other alien just walks out of the corridor and just comes out and they're both standing here next, next to oh, each other. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the alien is like, what? Same me. What are you surprised about? Like, you know, like it's all creepy looking because basically that, when same, you say same me, you mean same Hillary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. Dumb what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was giving it example. <laughs> Fucked you over there for a second. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Let me go in there. <laughs> okay, so so this reptilian comes out and he communicates, he, she, it okay. communicates to you telepathically or what happened? Right, it's not a reptilian. Um, it's more like, let's say, ghoulish kind of body. It's about, what, 12, uh, 13 feet tall, so to yeah. speak. Mm -hmm. And long ass legs. The body is, you know, like, it's all grayish. 
and you cannot call it tall gray because it has, let's say, human face. The nose is sort of cut off to where you just have two little fucking holes. You know, hairs everywhere. It's, it's looking like freaking ugh, filthy, right? Yeah, like, zombie, well, sleazy. Yeah, Ooh, long cool, as freaking yeah. arms and like the nails and everything. It's just, it's just there. Yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> 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 okay, then what happened? What you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> what are you even doing here, bitch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Jeez. okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, what then what happened? Yeah, so with my sight and being able to access, you know, history and everything, like same being. And this original being, the ghouly fucking looking, is yeah. controlling that physical vessel that is Hillary Clinton here from Earth. Okay. Simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the thing is. <laughs> so the thing is, because people are like, kill them. You know, they, they don't like this. I'm like, might as well. It's like the original one. It's my chance. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so I tried a lot of things. <laughs> you did what? I tried a lot of things. It's like if I was to talk about it, I don't know how YouTube is gonna react to it with all the gruesome stuff I did, you know. Okay. But, uh, just... <laughs> Excuse me, he's choking me up here. What? <laughs> okay, so you tried a lot of gruesome things that you can't talk about on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, yeah. Okay. I assume, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh then what happened what did you, you so you wrestled or it are they just it just stood there and it, just stood there. Like, it did, didn't there is no how to say no not not the, not the thing itself it's just letting me do it the thing and i yeah. you know everything i did with every possible being that have ever given me trouble i've tried nothing Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, uh, what's the deal here? And consciousness cannot be killed mm. is the answer. And the consciousness, you know, like that's her. She's mm. like, okay, here's my one of my forms. Uh, you know, I mean, so you like, like it. <laughs> <laughs> looking pretty damn or nice, huh? <laughs> 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 you fucking bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> Who would vote for you? <laughs> anyway. That that's the thing. It's intimidating. So bullshit people like us, like, uh, and we run away, you know, like who's gonna stand in front of thing, thing like that? So it's very really good for uh, you know, running for presence somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh like knowing or having tried a lot of ways to deal with her and since consciousness cannot be killed i start talking like okay uh i'll have to write back to my viewers doesn't work motherfucker <laughs> so i tried wait 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 what <laughs> you're gonna write, you're writing back to your viewers are I'm you not. saying doesn't work <laughs> motherfucker oh, oh i get it, i get it. let me put this together uh yeah. you've had viewers that say, well, if you ever meet them out there, why don't you just, you know, yeah. why don't you do that, Avila? You should think, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so if you're out here, you got a chance. Oh, my, I got some viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do this and get it done with. And you, nothing. So yeah. now you're writing back, didn't work. I did it. I tried that motherfucker. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah. The, Pretty much, yeah. The comments, the replies, you don't reply. I got you. I was I was gonna I was gonna you know <laughs> right <laughs> yeah okay so, so we tried uh, it she tried yeah. it and it didn't fucking work so yeah. now what I start talking hi <laughs> <laughs> hi <laughs> 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 sorry just had to try it. Let, me, let me put this away <laughs> we talk. <laughs> okay um yeah and basically like a amazing thing is is that the consciousness that is out there in the body is way different than whatever we're presenting here on earth 
and that's where the conversation starts and like with uh, various questions i i ask and all the stuff and one of them is like okay so why are you doing this turf like why do you like fuck with people why do you sell out and all the stuff just going into it kind of like just like why not like i'm gonna have a perspective and she's like which earth i'm like okay wh what earths are you on <laughs> and basically like every earth there is but when we go deeper into it it's like which part of me she says has done something bad to you and just like consciousness the same way i have tons of bodies somewhere else doing things she has her other selves different forms doing different things but she also has herself on earth she wants to experience a human life on earth and while we some of us who are on this earth in this reality see her as a nasty politician or people who might not like her will see her or, or define her one way she's like this is the part of me that has done you some damage but there's also and she opens up and i can tap into every possible reality and see her different aspects and it's beautiful like it's not a nasty being we know here on earth it's actually someone who's how to say is, is it the altruist the very giving person yeah so she has millions of aspects of her where she's a farmer where she's a really good lover where she's like she loves animals where she gives and gives and gives and does all the good stuff and we're just not in that reality we're not seeing the self that she has but the same way it's like okay i have a part of me here that maybe likes to talk about things maybe has a lot of these abilities but i know i have other parts of me that is into killing like fuck you you pissed me off i'm gonna torture you for a bit i know my size like everyone has a dark side i know mine i know the stuff i do so like when i go talking into her and then being able to access her akashic records being able to see her track her every aspect sort of like analyze it and see like what it is it's pretty much just like hey i want to experience every possibility of human body and there are like places where she is disabled where she is autistic where she's super healthy where she has every possible sickness she can have she has every possible work she can have and like she just goes on on variety it is her choice it is something she wants to do and and i'm like okay well so there are people here on earth who really don't like you on the reality where i am how do i change that and you know with all the conversation where it goes is basically her answer everything you think about everything you're focusing on everything you're experiencing in your day-to-day -day life from birth until the moment you are right now you've written the history you are focusing on a negative you were focusing on all that bad stuff you were repeating it over and over again and you're creating the reality you're in and if you don't start focusing opening a, a new page and like focusing on creating the new stuff you're not gonna get it like she can flip any reality if she wants to and make it differently because she knows how to manifest stuff we're here and we're trapped and we're complaining about it because you know there of course there are a lot of interferences but it all falls on us it's our responsibility and do you know how to use your abilities to manifest stuff can you change your reality can you change your beliefs can you tune into the reality you want because she's like literally like showing every track every possibility you know like how we talk about every possible parallel realm and reality and different body we can have and every decision we make will make a different lifetime yeah or, or like life yeah seth uh jane roberts book seth speaks he talks about that every possible uh potential reality consciousness is just massive that way and each individual has that uh bert goldman talks about it with quantum jumping where you can quantumly jump to another aspect of yourself that is doing that thing you want to do and there's just unlimited aspects of self that have the various qualities or traits or things that you don't have that you want you can tap into that other aspect of conscious self the same you same personality character that has what you want and you can confer and and discuss with how you can get that because you're talking to yourself kind of like that but you saw you you met the hillary thing yeah on that planet yeah okay. and basically every day every single moment right now we we can choose which reality we're going to pop into mm -hmm. and very uh, very good that you mentioned gall uh <laughs> what's Goldman? his name yes that guy <laughs> uh because he's saying exactly the same thing it's like you know i'm sorry if one of my aspects hurt you and 
what I'm doing and what you can do too is tune into the reality where you have what you want and just bring that from there to here. Start mm -hmm. focusing as if that reality is your current reality. You're going to shift. And all of a sudden, you are in the place where you want to be and all this stuff. And the more most interesting thing, you know, like, I'm really glad that in the sessions we have, I learned to become like a clean slate, that my stuff will not get in, like uh, into it, or I won't be creating it, or like, I don't know, like my beliefs won't kind of damage the thing. Because coming in with the judgment of like, oh, you're Hillary Clinton, I don't like you, like, it's like, okay, I tried killing her, whatever. Uh, now let's talk. And like, just like learning the different aspect that she too has a consciousness. She too is a being that is creating her own realities in different aspects. And if I was like, okay, I don't like you. I don't like what you're doing to me or other people here on earth, specifically that aspect that is like, like, like say selling out, going into ritual stuff, pedophile and that stuff, like really nasty stuff. Please don't do that. It's like same as me or like as her asking to me or anyone else to remove one of my aspects that is doing something. And let's say there's an aspect of me that might be really into music. That's just my life. I love music, like whether this is drumming or guitar or something, just playing that and enjoying myself. And she's like, uh, your music is maybe healing too many people or changing too many things. Could you stop existing? Or let's say you might have a sexual aspect. Uh, as in, you might like girls, I might like guys. And then you can win with as many people as possible to just fit your needs with, I like this look, I like this kind of kink, I like this kind of thing. And you're going to run as many as possible, whether it's just one person or your own harem for however many years you want. A lot of guys will go woo on that one. But it's like, okay, there's an aspect of you and some people don't like it. Could you please stop existing? You don't want to. It's part of you, it's part of the experience, it's part of who you are. And there's like a lot of these. So for, her, for Hillary and that aspect that she has, it's like, it's just helping her to experience one possibility out of never any things so that was kind of the experience where i was like running back and forth conversation and it's just like it's amazing to see that you know when you meet them in a person and just go deeper i'm not saying everyone's going to be like that. i'm not saying well, right now drop your hate for hillary here on earth because she's amazing being out there bullshit you can hate her all you want you can feel about her however you want it's just that when you zoom out of everything and look at the consciousness and how much it knows and how much we can do and if we focus on ourselves and just change and tune into what we want, we can do it all. It's just like, it's pretty neat for me. Yeah, that is amazing. That's really deep. And the fact is that consciousness is consciousness. And it has assumed all the points of view in every being and entity and extraterrestrial and every alien. It is the consciousness becoming individuals and then there's all kinds, good, bad, ugly, right, wrong, evil, compassionate, loving, kind. All these labels, all these ways of behavior and uh, existing. That's consciousness being every possible thing. So that tells us right there that <clears throat> that, whole, that philosophical thing about uh, we're all one in that way. We are all the same uh, consciousness uh kind of deep shit like hmm? <laughs> pretty profound yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah deep shit yeah. <laughs> yeah right so i don't know like for me it's just amazing to let's say talk to beings out there eventually after i stop killing them or trying to kill them <laughs> yeah <laughs> and just like find out their perspective and you know kind of like have the belief destroyed or changed you know like However, I had the perception on her on earth. It's like you see the original and it's just consciousness. And, mm -hmm. you know, depends on how deep you want to go. Like that, it, those were just like a few questions I asked, like the conversation can go a lot of ways. Yeah, it's, it reminds me of playing a, uh, an online game. And you log in and say it's virtual reality too. So what the hell, but there you are, you're in the game and you and your buds, hey, let's go, let's go play the game. So we all jump at our, our stations and we log in uh we we like each other we're we're good but in the game you want to play an exciting game so somebody's got to play uh the the dark lord and somebody's got to play loop fucking skywalker or some shit you got to play the good guys so you pick a side you pick a team and the idea is to play combat 
uh, adventure role playing sort of game. And so there's gonna be has to slash and kill and stuff. And uh, in the game, the your your buddy here is playing a bad guy, and he might be doing some things in the game that you would think, oh, that's dirty, oh, that's that's cheating, oh, blah blah blah. Yeah. And you can hate the guy, the character in the game, but it's part of his skill set. It's part of his nature. He's trying to level up and evil fucking bullshit. And the better he can get at the game, the more likely he can win the game. Or Hillary Clinton. While the you're where the other people are over here being nice people and wishing they could do something about the evil beings on planet Earth. Uh, that's the game they're playing. And when do they level up? And what do they do to level up in that game they're playing? And meantime, Hillary, Hillary and her buddies are eating little people's babies. <laughs> but it's the game, because when you back out of the game, back out far enough, not just between lies, but back out, boom, 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 boom. It's like you got two powerful entities having chosen to become a human being, Hillary becomes a human being, but the consciousness isn't that. So you back out of that game of being human and you're a beingness, you're still a, some kind of a being. And this is, you know, individual. I'm not, I'm not that, I'm this. You back out of that game, like into another universe outside of that. And you're still an individual and they're still an individual. And the beings, are the same consciousness, but the relationships the beings have with each other are different outside of the game universe, so to speak. And every universe, like a physical universe or beliefs in the territory is a game universe or sandbox, so yeah. to speak, Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And then like for me, the biggest takeaway of it all is that each and every one person, let's say after watching this and hearing different perspectives, they can still believe whatever they want to believe. Like however they see Hillary or any other politician or any other being, it's up mm -hmm. to them. But for me, it's like, you know, what you focus on are like, oh, that being is really bad. They're doing tons of bad stuff. And then with your thinking and how you feel about it, you start tuning into that reality and going to see even more and more and more. Or you're like, okay, that was that. Now it's new new age and maybe, oh, all of a sudden she's trying to save the world. She's actually saying that vaccines are really bad, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, you know, like you go into whatever. So for me, like creating your own reality, that's the biggest thing right now. Yeah, yeah. And there are techniques and strategies for doing that. The more we learn about how the mind works, how, how the, what the matrix is, how agreements play a part of that, beliefs play a part of that. And the more we're able to... Uh, see what we believe and release our limiting beliefs and revoke our agreements that are limiting us and making us believe bullshit. Uh, and the more control we get over uh, our thoughts, our thinking, our voice in our head, what we say to ourselves, we're taking over the mind control game that is being played on earth humans through propaganda, news media and platforms and all that stuff. And we start believing more empowering beliefs. And then we start getting control of our minds. And this is, this is my idea of how one would break free of the matrix. And whether it turns out sweet here on the earth game, like your online game, you logged in, whether it turns out sweet or not there, don't get so fucked up as the character in the game that when you come out, you still got the same bad attitude you had when you were in the game and the same limited thinking. I still got to kill those guys. I got to go back in the game and kill those, the bad guys. No, it's just a game. You know, when you back out and you get out of the physical universe, you know, if you understand how the universe outside the physical universe is, the more you understand that, the more able you are to control it and your own destiny outside of that. So that's my philosophy. Yeah, I like it. I think like just a little bit to it, you know, a lot of people here like that we work with that have been messed with by life, by any other forces, they get mad like, oh, reptilians are at my fault and I want to kill them all. And, you know, you can either be like a troublemaker or you can focus on yourself and what you want. And let's say where you get out of body and you're going to go kill all reptilians or grace or whoever hurt you ever, 
or you're going to be like, okay, that's what it did, but I actually want to grow. I want to get better. So fuck hunting and looking for trouble because if I hurt them now, they're gonna, I'm going to be put on a wanted list and they're going to come back at me and we're never going to finish this whole thing. Why don't I just like, bye, never come back. Yeah. Focus on your own thing, grow, have fun, but you don't need to suffer. You don't need to go into war unless you want to. And most people are stuck in that wanting revenge and just going and killing, but that just creates the same cycle where they are right now. And for me, like, it's just like, bye. I'm going to go do my thing. Yeah. It, uh, it's simple. It may not be easy, but it is simple. Uh, we need to practice, literally practice, do things as practice, taking over the negative thinking and flip it into positive thoughts and conversations in our head. It takes a lot of practice. I, mean, I wish I'd have started doing it like 40 years ago. But I was involved doing other things that I thought would be personal, spiritual development sort of work. But this seems to be the, uh, the new pink these days. Uh, this whole take control of your thoughts and your thinking and the quiet mind and the manifest your own reality sort of stuff. That seems to be the thing. Before we wrap up, yeah. Well, you might have some more things to say, but I have some more things to talk, ask about your out of body experience and what was going on on that planet. I mean, some details, some nitty gritty, because I know your visuals are real good and your memory is really good. So, uh, you'd be interested in talking some more about that a little bit before we wrap up, or is there some other point mm. you want to make? I think like we can talk about the planet maybe in another video because we went mm. into from one subject to another subject and we're back in the beginning <laughs> without the good wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I think what we talked about is like actually a good wrapping point, and maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, alrighty. Uh, was there anything else you'd like to say or ask about uh, what you experienced or what you would like um, to share? I'm I'm just really glad you're here to explain what I'm experiencing, because like for me, like again, like I understand things in the way I see. Like I see, mm -hmm. like okay, I get it. But how should I put it in words to say it in a human language? Now that that's difficult yeah so I'm, I'm glad you're here to decipher whatever is going on here and tell it to people yeah <laughs> i guess so for a wrap uh one of the things i know about it is that the whole idea of this this universe it's a a universe of duality and polarity dual terminal universe goods and bad and right and wrong and good and evil and all that stuff and it's designed that way for the experience that offers but outside of this universe or maybe outside the next one out or the next one out somewhere outside of this it's not about good bad right or wrong it's more like uh people can uh, beings can understand it like we understand a vivid daydream hi i'm going to have a vivid daydream and i'm going to step into it and i'm going to play in it i want to play an adventure game I need somebody else to play too. I can make up imaginary characters, NBCs, and I can put consciousness in those and give them a little free will, but it's kind of like AI because it's artificial. It's my intelligence, but I'm pretending like it's somebody else talking to me, running around trying to shoot me or something in my adventure daydream world. Or I can invite some other sentient beings in so they tune into my daydream and they daydream it with me and now we're playing that kind of game but both parties realize it's just for play entertainment fun game maybe it's for learning and growing but it's not what it appears to be there is really no good or bad or right or wrong it's it's play time because when you step out of it it's just, it's just an illusion. It's just a dream. It's just a daydream. It's just your imagination. And the beings were conscious and aware of what they were doing when they went in. The problem here on this plane is people coming here and from this perspective have forgotten that it is a game and how it really works. So we, we are overly engaged in good, bad, right, wrong, and evil and pain and pleasure and all that stuff because of, we've over identified with these bodies and the identity we have with these bodies called ego. So the, the trick is to become more aware 
and know that you are the awareness and not really the ego self or the identity the, the being you think you are or the or your physical body and get an understanding of what's going on outside the physical universe so that when you do leave here this body expires and you're free to go you don't go oh i gotta get another body ah! or oh they're gonna catch me they're gonna catch me the me that believes they that that me can be caught that's the me that gets caught so you break free of your limited beliefs about being trapped or getting caught and stuff while you're here just do your inner work your shadow work whatever and you're free to go because nobody you're the you're, you're the master of your own ship so to speak yeah that's my wrap you to put it. i like uh, it <laughs> okay well i guess we'll call it a night then huh yeah Okay. We're, we're morning. <laughs> yeah, morning. It's like two twenty-six in the morning right now. We couldn't sleep. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Your comments are always welcome. And if you'd like to see the things we do, the things we offer, you can go over to richwest.net. We got a lot of stuff over there you might be interested in. Okay. Thanks for watching, Dr. Lane. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, we'll we'll talk more later. Okay.